Hey everyone, welcome to another edition Star Shadow Plays. I'm Rose Rob, aka Star Shadow. We're continuing our Sam Marino challenge in Football Manager 21. And for those that do not know, the Sam Marino challenge is to take the tiny microstate of Sam Marino all the way from the bottom of the FIFA rankings to number one. Simultaneously, we're taking a club based in Sam Marino all the way to European Champions League glory. And to do that, we've taken over a club uh, that is actually in the, or was in the Italian pyramid called San Reno Calcio, went to function in 2019. We've revived it, put a ton of money into it, and really pimped out the youth intakes, uh, all the youth coaching facilities and all that to see if we can get our youth intakes going. And basically we skipped 25, 30 years of playing, of getting the club into a position where you can have these youth intakes uh, that might actually help uh, your team. So that's what we're doing. Um, that the actually San Marino Calcio is actually uh, reformed this year in real life, so you can actually find them in uh, the new Football Manager 21. Uh, if you are able to get into, I think it's the uh, a, a database with the fourth division in Italy, so you can definitely come go check that out. Uh, so we are here. We are making our way onwards and upwards. It is Nations League time once again. Here's our Nations League. Uh, group we're going to be playing our first match here against cyprus uh so we have cyprus and slovakia who are both apparently top 80 teams i don't think cyprus is actually uh white that good i think they're probably overrated a little bit so we're hoping to go in here and uh get ourselves even on the road we're gonna be on the road in cyprus we're gonna see if we can get ourselves a result here we can see if we can help ourselves with our ranking here uh, so we got a lot to get through here. We have this match we're going to get to and we have some good club stuff that we'll look at uh, right afterwards. So uh, team selection here. We actually got a new player in for uh, Nations League. One of our youth intakes here, Nicola Goltigieri. Uh, really, uh, he's a top level player. Uh, he's been on loan a bunch of times in the top division here. Played solidly. So he's a good player uh he i believe he actually had caps previously before switching over to italy he had got some youth uh caps with them but uh hasn't getting gotten called up again wasn't going to he's not quite their level to be a, a starter or even a squad member there but he's definitely good enough to be for us so we are super excited to have him aboard so he's gonna play here and we are going to actually we're gonna we have our attacking lineup in so we're gonna attack down the left actually through Ramos who's basically just a winger uh, Mateo Rusty is actually out injured hey, he was coming back actually uh, we couldn't select him the game one let select him I wanted to select him because he was recovering from a jaw injury uh, with our doctors they usually come back sooner he was just recovering. He may not have been ready for this one, but you well, likely would have been ready for the next one. Uh, so it looks like uh, uh, Mattia Berardi is going to get the start here. Uh, solid. Actually, we're probably going to we need to change this up a little bit here because that is not going to work. Uh... So we're going to play through Goldieri. Play it on the left. So here play through this way and we're gonna play down the right uh Batsa and Daniela Giardi hopefully we can get them going uh I can see not the best in terms of fitness but we're gonna do it again probably can't get through both benches between uh, them and uh I guess Slovakia I think Ooh. not the best uh timing on that we need our best players but we're gonna do it again what do we got here? They're playing a 5-3-2 as well. Okay, so what we got here? I'm looking at foot in this first. I don't know why. Everyone and their mother. On their weaker foot. Okay, so we got Mark. Okay, we can do that. Press. I guess we're gonna press all, all of these guys here. Yep. 
as you can see, they're nothing special. I mean, solid player. He's like decent. He's their best player. So he's he's not bad. But I mean, other than that, I mean, it's solid. But he's not that good. He's not that good. I mean, he's a right striker. This guy's not good. I mean, he's alright, but nothing special. Keepers, nothing special either. Like, does this look like someone, like a team that is in the top 80 in the world? No. I don't think so, in my opinion, but could be wrong here. So, nobody expects that. We can show everyone what you can do. Complacent? Why are you people complacent? If anything, I want to see here. I want to see you guys play good then. Demotivated? Son of a biscuit. Okay. Oh, we're set up, so we're going for it. Yep, Scotty's getting there and banned because our regular captain is not playing because he's uh, the backup goalkeeper now. Is LWT fit enough to last the full duration? Probably. Probably. Okay, let's turn this music down a little bit here. It was a little bit louder than I thought it was. I turn that down a little bit too. There we go. So let's see what what these guys get. Let me switch up the camera here. Our biggest problem, of course, is if you've been following along, is our uh, central defenders. Uh, we don't have very many of them, and they're very very young and just starting to get okay. I mean, that's a, they're probably not this level, honestly. But everywhere else, we have players that are definitely capable. And Scotty, of course, is our best central defender. So, I mean, we have one guy who is uh, at this level, but there's a <laughs> the other two are not, and could be a problem. Let's encourage this team because we're not getting anything going yet. Uh, there we go. Go, GR to go. Okay, drop the go, go, go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hit it now. Oh, you hit him. I gotta drop it off, I guess. I don't know. Uh uh. That's not the ball. That is not the ball. I'm tempted to tick it up. Just trying to get a foothold in here. Off a set piece. Come on, I am taking it up now. Come on, team. I'm gonna have to yell at them. Cause it, yeah, that's just not good. Come on, guys. Oh, come on. Their set piece. They are right now killing us on set pieces. This is not good. Go, go. Show some composure, man. Show some, some composure. Come on, we're better than this. Good save. We're getting killed in the air. This is not working. They're not there. Not playing very well here. Come on, that is god awful. Where is the defending? Is there any defending whatsoever? That's not who we're, we want to hit a long ball to. He's like five foot one. <laughs> Always could be a little bit tough for us with the being in preseason still. But still, I expect it a little bit more better.
There you go. Great ball. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Good, nice and calm. Get it to the wing back. Who is a winger? Let him score. Don't like to man mark. I'm not happy yet. I'm not happy though. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm not happy with you. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Get you motivated then. Get motivated. Get motivated. Let's see if we can, can keep it going a little bit. We might have to adjust maybe defensively what we're doing. We may be giving them too much, too much space here. With what we're doing. What do they have for strikers? What are their strikers slow? I've forgotten. Kind of, but not really. Because I was thinking about maybe compressing it and moving up a little bit. Maybe go high with low pressure. Because, I mean, we, we really can't press too hard right now. With ourselves being in such terrible... Uh, fitness Go it's now. Oh, you hit it behind him. Oh my god. He had to split them. If you've done that. He's in I'm Trying to put some pressure on him though Might be making him a little bit nervous Here is being very disappointing. This one, a lot of disappointment so far. Let's see if we can get you going. Uh, nervous. Uh, let's bring on. Bellini, maybe? Do you bring on Bellini, or do you want to bring on... Giardi? I don't know if Montione would be who we want to do. I think we could bring in Bellini. Shoot, how many, how many subs do we get? Used to Italy, we got five there. Do we? We might only get three. Gotten. Pretty sure it's only three though. Pay attention to your subs, y'all. That is awful. That is awful. Come on, guys. That is awful. What is that? The Bellini. When he comes in and just automatically chokes right away. What is that? What is that? Hit him, hit him in the hand. So. It's in vehicle anyway. And then like, he's like running backwards at it. Moonwalking to the ball somehow. Okay. Yeah. That's just. And then. Deliberte completely loses his mark. He's not that bad. I don't know why. Why he would lose his mark that badly? Like, I mean, I know he's 18 years old. Marking is 10. I mean, that's not the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It's, and his pencils aren't the worst thing either. I mean, they're probably not as bad even as these guys are. Mm. Okay, we're getting a chance here. Not getting a chance here. Step up. Giardi's not doing jack. Unless he does something right. Ooh.
getting chances. Yeah, I know we should do that, but I want to pull GRD. Do you think I need to do this though? I just check something. Yeah. What I thought. Bad, 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 bad. Marking. Marking is not good. This is what I was worried about. All right. What's the worst that can happen, right? But hold on. What is the worst that can happen? Where we got these points, right? We didn't come here to do nothing. We came here to try and win. Playing around attack, yep. Take it up. Means we do you need to press a little bit though. Oh, to the tribute to fan flanks. Well, we're gonna push for it. I'm not sure that this is the best idea, of course, but gotta try it, right? What? What? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? That's a dive, of course, and we're not gonna get a call. I save at least. Ball don't lie. A dive and a half. I don't know that this is going to work. Actually, probably not a good idea. Mm. We do want to pass in the space. We're going to move it up here. We're going to go up. We do it again. We're too tired. We're too tired. One last opportunity. Get it up in there. Nope. That meant to be. This is, this is not the best. Not the best time for us to be, be playing them. We're gonna be looking forward to them at home, though. I think I, I think we can beat them. They didn't really show anything. It, the, the XG there, the half of it is penalty. Uh, we we can beat this team. This is this was not. Uh, this is not uh, us at our best here. You know, not being fit at all for this is is a rough because we can we couldn't really change and really want it because I wanted to press more. That's what I would have done, but I pressed more. Uh, we had to make a couple of changes because of tiredness. Uh, this we could have definitely done better. Spirited defeat against the cyber side you expect to lose heavily to. You must be pleased with performance. It's disappointing we didn't get anything. We expected to be on the wrong side of a hiding, but kept a defeat to a single goal. Can you take cover that performance? Uh, ultimate defeat. We can't. We can't be. Can't be too happy with that. <sighs> D 
Am I, was I overestimating this a little bit there with uh, thinking that we might be able to 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 beat them? I mean, when we went one one, should I have gone defensive? You think? I feel like I felt like they were there for the taking a little bit. I guess thinking thinking out in some hindsight there, we probably was not the best idea to go take. We probably should have tried to consolidate that point once we got it got the goal back. Try to hit on the counter because we, like I said, we weren't fit enough and thinking we might be able to play through it and we couldn't. Well, our under 21 has been knocked out of. I failed to qualify from group three in Euro qualifiers and the U21 qualifiers. It's not surprising. We're not last in any of these, though, right? Oh, we just didn't qualify, period. Uh, I see. We did get a win though. Who did we beat? Lithuania. Nice. Our under 21s aren't that good though, because anyone that's any good is up on the senior team. So <laughs> it's not surprising that they got knocked out. <laughs> Quite honestly. All right, let's attend this press conference real quick then. Uh, why did you persist with Luca Gilberti when it was clear all to all to see, particularly the fans? He wasn't up to it today because I don't have anyone else on the bench. Are you pleased with the way Fabio Maiani played? Yeah, he, he's pretty good. Uh, I don't care that, about them. Don't ask me questions about the other team. How pleased are you to have secured Gaultieri's international future? I'm excited, but that was bad performance. Very bad. Hopefully you can pick it up. All right, so there's that part. Uh, like a schedule next up i got slovakia at home uh and now that we're tired a few days later i don't know we're probably not gonna do any better here but but aim to take a point if we can take a point off them that'd be huge if we can get three that'd be even huge. that would mean we would be in in the conversation to actually uh get to the top spot but taking a point here put us in a great position uh then like the lithuania matches are the if we take six from there, like I expect us to, because we are better, definitely better than Lithuania. Uh, that will keep us in in League C, which is you know it's a solid start. So we're gonna work. We're gonna worry about that. But like I said, at home, tough match. I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Uh, on the other side here, the club side. We are now in our new stadium called the San Marino Stadium still. Uh, 18 and a half thousand. Uh, grass, it's all good, very good. Under soil heating, good. No roof though, grass. So we are very happy to be able to have this nice stadium now and it'll be a good uh one for the national team too once it uh once we really start taking off it'll be a good stadium for that too uh on to the squad though we've got some new faces that have come in uh we signed him during last season actually uh late last season just joined over the summer uh chris wakeham who's replacing stefano riva who left uh 19 years old just turned 19 really over the uh in may so we we're getting pretty much a full 19 year uh his pure age of 19 throughout this next season but super athletic he doesn't jump as well as riva but uh he's pretty comparable otherwise and uh i'm looking forward to this because uh in the uh friendlies we've had so far He's fit in nicely. It's been a match made in heaven, which is exactly what I, I wanted out of him. And you got like this right here, this potential ability. We got the five star. That's huge. I think it was worth every penny of the 40 million we put in for him. Uh, next up, 18 year old wonder kid, Joao Paulo. Uh, he, I actually wasn't going to bring him to the squad, but then I really looked at him and I was like, wait a second, he's actually good. <laughs> I can't let him sit on the bench. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's going to be a part of the squad and he's probably going to be a decent part of the squad. Uh, he's an, uh, more of an attacker. So 
uh, this is a wonderful, <laughs> a wonderful bit of business as he is only 18 years old. And he's already, yeah, he's good enough. He's or a wonder kid. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this. So, uh, that's huge. Oh, we have another midfielder that we just brought in. Because we Liam Reed left. Where is he? You can see our list here has been very bad. Uh, da, 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 da. It's another wonder kid, of course. Where the heck are you? Over here. Rene Samaniego. Wonder kid. Not quite the five star ability that we're we could be hoping for, but. Uh, instantly becomes like our best midfielder. Uh, he is actually like the perfect box to box guy, which is like that spot that we've been trying to fill forever. He he uh, looks like the guy who's going to fill that spot because he plays there and he also plays as a Segunda Volante in the uh, defensive midfielder role, which is you know usually what I switch them to if, depending on on uh, the formation. But you can look at him like a good pass. He's a not the best passer, but he's a good passer. The work rate is there. He's got pace. He can jump. The mentals are great. Uh, it, he can he can play a little center back if we need him to. Uh, can, can get forward a bit. I mean, uh, I was I saw after we got we got rid of Reed because he wanted a new contract and got tired of him doing that kind of stuff. So we sold him on for almost twenty million. Uh, basically put that money straight into this because he's only 16 and even 17 million and uh, yeah this is going to be uh, uh, someone filling in uh, a spot that we've had trouble so I'm hope I'm really hoping for big things here um, yeah I'm this is, this is gonna be good I think I'm very happy this is uh, this is we talk about transfers you need to increase your talent level this is how you do it this is an increase in talent level that is yeah this is this is exactly what we needed so we we definitely upgraded there uh simply had some spots open because uh, we're only running we had an extra spot open because we're only running two keepers because now we have a definite backup and that uh julio Mat julio mesa has actually secured the backup because he's actually good so we're gonna, we're gonna roll with two keepers on the squad uh former wonder kid so we had an extra spot and that is going to jose tado with his five star potential we decided to bring him in see if we can start developing him a little bit better 19 years old uh he's gonna be kind of the more defensive midfielder center back uh Kind of person, so he he's could be mostly backing up center back, but also can play forward a bit. But you can see he's definitely more center back ish. Uh, not gonna play a ton, but definitely we're gonna start filling him in, get him that experience at the top level, and hopefully uh, uh, he'll start just completely going to the moon with his ability. Um, very very excited about this. I love. Potential. I love bringing in this potential. As you can see here, we got some good, good potential. Uh, we were looking at maybe moving Michael Hayes uh, uh, over the summer. Uh, no bites that we would uh, be interested in. So he stays. He's been playing well for us anyway. And um. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else going on uh, with with how we've done things. Then Daniela Giardi is not going to be coming up unless we make a move in uh, the winter. In which case, you know, that'd probably be the Miguel Hayes it going uh, maybe in the winter. Then we might bring Giardi up because then we should hopefully be ready with uh, between Jao Paulo and, or not Jao Paulo, but uh, Jose uh, to do as uh, the I had more solidified himself, feel comfortable with, with having him as a, as a more full backup. 
uh and we'll see i'll see how things go um we're really looking forward to it we had some big bids come in for mancini and bachoki i said no because they're important players oh we got our champions league group draw and as you can see it's terrible psg and real madrid with hertha <laughs> it's like what is going on here they hertha is at least not the best uh well they're pretty good <laughs> so um they still got kai haverett uh, wow so yeah this is this is a this is the group of death when it comes to um champions league i mean this is a weak group this is a group we would have wanted we would definitely get out of this group uh, I mean, that's like Barca, Inter, Bruges, and Rangers. Well, top two, of course. You expect the top two in most of these, group, most of these groups are going to be tough, but man, we got totally smoked with our, our stuff here. I mean, is there any three that are, that are, uh, tougher than us? Cause we were fourth cause we don't have a co good coefficient yet which really screws us uh but i mean top two wise can you get any any better i mean champions obviously psg was not champions interesting and then hertha apparently was second last season too so i mean teams nothing but teams in the top four to have four leagues that finished in first and second in their leagues i mean ugh, we're definitely the weakest but uh we'll be opening at uh home uh our home open will be against lazio it'll be the second match of the season but we'll open at milan so it's not the nicest start for us but uh after that we'll have a few matches here with uh genoa and frosinone who we should beat udinese napoli would be tough but How's Verona will be a match, and then we got two more tough ones against Juventus and Inter. So uh, it's uh, once we get past the Inter and start, we get this nice little right here. That's not too bad in the league. So uh, we'll have to take advantage there. But uh, we are looking solid, and hopefully we will be, you know, continuing our 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 trend here where we're sitting in champions league place so i'm that's what we're shooting for we're gonna shoot for another top three finish um i think we can do it but uh you know we're betting in some players but we have increased some of the talent level uh so i think uh, we have every opportunity but uh, if there's no terrible injuries uh we get a couple results get that confidence going i think uh, this could be a really good season uh, I don't think uh, the you know, like Inter and, and AC Milano, they didn't really do too much to uh, continue to reload. It's kind of more of the same team while we've gotten better. So I think uh, I think we, we've got a good shot this season. Uh, and we saw with the nation, we're getting there. We're still 170 uh, in, as a nation. Hopefully after this nation's league... Uh, season i guess uh we can push that up maybe we can get into the 150s if we can get some good results uh so we are on track here we'll see how we can how we can do so thank y'all for watching hanging out and seeing what's going on with this the save here uh glad to have you hopefully we have some good news for you next week so if you enjoyed the video uh like comment subscribe share all that good stuff really appreciate it shout out to subscribers uh thank you very much for that uh follow us on social media streams by star on twitter exclamation point twitter in the chat and that's for twitch actually i don't know why i'm saying that now because twitch is uh we're gonna have links to the twitch and the twitter in the chat in the description so that kind of stuff will work if you come to the twitch where we stream for an hour usually and uh just uh hang out a little bit don't usually play football manager online but we do try and play some other stuff just hanging out uh, try not to take a bunch of your time, even if it's a uh, bad time for a lot of people. 
So definitely come hang out a little bit and uh, see what's up. So thank y'all once again. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate you watching and supporting. Stay safe, everyone. Stay well. I got my third booster today. Hopefully y'all are doing well with your vaccines as, as well. And staying well, staying safe. And I'll see y'all next time.